It's the National Football League on EA Sports. Up next, we'll get a look at Patrick Mahomes. After his last game, now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Chiefs and the Rams, and it's coming up next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Today, it's week 12 of the NFL season and we've got a great chance to between the Los Angeles fans and the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello again, everybody, alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. They've certainly got it rolling of late. Winners in six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason, and that can take you deep into January. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Matthew Stafford leading the Rams offense out there, just as he did last season when he captured his first in the Rams' second Super Bowl title. And he's got to be feeling pretty good about his individual performance from last week's game. I mean, he did throw four touchdown passes, so he's in sync with his receivers, and they're very confident. Did have one interception. And one pick. And? They lost. Yeah, so no matter how many touchdowns he threw, if it comes in a loss, he's not going to be satisfied. Stafford going to put it up right away. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. It's complete to Robinson. A couple of vets, Stafford to Robinson there, first down Rams. That catch, by the way, number 542 in his NFL career, that draws him level with Lance Allworth, who was a Hall of Famer with the Chargers back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, the man they called Bambi, so if you're in that type of territory, catch the same number of passes he caught, you know you're on your way to a big-time career. And just think, he's not through yet. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Second down at six now from the 42. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, that was big right there because they're in the bottom five in the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. From the 50 at Stanford. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Play action, Stafford. 
Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. They'll run on first down with Oakers. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. That play stopped behind the line by Trey Flowers. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Stanford to the right side and complete to Jefferson. And he'll be marked down right at the 20 yard line. Throwing on third down, Stanford. Throws to his man on the out round. It's complete. That's Robinson. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the three, second and a yard. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Rams are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Matt Gay on for the extra point. He hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either, and it's 7-0. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And what a performance in his last game. A couple of touchdown passes, that was positive. But more than two interceptions. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for. What did Vince Lombardi say, though? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. And that's what he hangs his hat on after last week's game. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. 
Mahomes now on first down. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. The Chiefs at 8 and 2 on the year. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. If we keep doing this, to the Super Bowl if we get that done. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Mahomes to throw once more. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Rams are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. And Charles, that's now four interceptions over his last three halves of football, because remember, he threw three picks last week. Starting to wonder if maybe defenses and those coordinators have identified something on tape with what he's doing, maybe a movement, maybe the way he's moving his shoulders. Who knows what it could be? He could have a few tells out there that they're keying in on and allowing defenses to get to the football a little bit faster. People steal signals. Maybe sometimes they can figure out what the quarterback's doing just by his movements. After the interception, here's Stafford. Complete, Jefferson the target. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. from just shy of midfield. Stafford, now that'll be caught by Cup, And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that. Darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to be in sync with each other, right? To understand that he's going to be where the quarterback expects him to be when the ball's thrown. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. He'll get it inside the 20, and he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. A give up the middle to Akers. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. From the five, here's second and two. On second and two, Stafford. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it's third and four now. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Stafford. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Akers is into the end zone. Touchdown, L.A. 
So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. Well, the final weekend of November is upon us. Boy, can you believe December right around the corner? It always seems to get here quickly. But coming up tonight, we wrap up the holiday weekend with the Packers and Eagles from Philly at 820 Eastern. Then tomorrow night, we wrap up Cyber Monday with the Steelers and Colts from Indianapolis. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. Is that throw a ride? Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. First and ten, here's Mahomes. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one, picking it up. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Mahomes going to throw. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Second down and three. To throw, it's Mahomes. And quickly to Kelsey. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 22-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. They go play action. Now Mahomes. 
And they're going to get this down inside the 20. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a way to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey with touchdown number 60. The Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. never lost and obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well but a really nice drive Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point and that one makes it 14 to 7 Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. L.A. readies for its next possession. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in the touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but... Did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there's never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there, and so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Stafford. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 44-yard line. He'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Holding offense. 
Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Second down, here's Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. He completes it to Beckham. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and he wound up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On first down, Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Now they're completing a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Locates Hardman for another catch. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll run with Edwards Alaire. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and goal from the six this time. One more time with Edward Dallaire. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. As the first half is winding down, the Chiefs have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the game. again here in the second sometimes you just have to have some patience a lot of people think it's always an adjustment you have to change what you're doing sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better and I think that's part of what we're seeing here Butker on for the PAT Oh, 
And we've got a good one, bro. Oh, 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 He sends this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Here's Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Shot before the break, Stafford. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, bye weeks, they're over. We've once again got a full slate of games to get to as we take you around the NFL here in week 12. We'll start by heading out west to Glendale, Arizona. And it's the Chargers who are out in front. The Chargers try and hold on and claim victory. From there, we head up to the Pacific Northwest. Check on the Seahawks at home in Seattle. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Raiders. Chris Carson with two touchdown runs. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Denver Broncos. Chuba Hubbard. Two touchdown runs to lead the way. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Rams. And they were able to have some success throwing the football against the secondary. Look for that to continue as they try to break this deadlock. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they too didn't throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. The final adjustments taking place here for both of these squads. They're about ready for the second half in Kansas City. And for the Colt, we rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run it. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie. And they start first and 10. On the handoff, it's Akers. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Going right back to Akers. 
It's a four-yard pickup there. He's in the third and five. Only five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Stafford. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Fourth down, and we go from one mat to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams' field goal. And Gay knocks this one through, and they take a 17-14 lead. Well, whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's caught by OBJ. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're up to a fast start here. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. And this one's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're on a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try not to stand before they're backed up even further. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 17-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And the Chiefs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this guy to the four yard line. Just picking up the yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They've moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Edwards Alaire is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. He's given him a little charge.
Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. Seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Partner, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. So here are the Chiefs to take over. Their win streak at six coming in and counting as they've got the lead right now beginning this drive first and ten. Play action, it's Mahomes. Across the formation, Hardman gets a completion. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 22. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. now on first down. Slant route, that's complete to Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. So second and four from the 22. Mahomes on the give to Edward Tolaire. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Side, it's complete. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. That's their first time getting to the quarterback, sack number one. And, you know, they had five last week, I'm remembering. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback. 
but you show them a lot of different looks, and they did that in the first half. You know, different angles, different things to slow down the speed. They got to them here in the second half. Now they've got to come up with a counter to that and maybe do something different. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Back-to-back -back great plays defensively. Get the sack on first and goal. A great job in coverage there. All of a sudden, they're looking at third and goal from further back than when they started. And the really good play callers look ahead and down in distance sequence. Now he's got to backtrack a little bit and go maybe off his play sheet to try and dial something up here. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Butker's kick here is good. And they will open their lead up to a touchdown at 24-17. out of it so they paid off of the defense gave them both sides to be thrilled with that and they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it the Rams ready to go on offense so now Charles this drive maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Now Stafford. Middle of the field to Jefferson. So the completion good for seven So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. The Rams on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. Stafford. Man open is Robinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. All right, go get them now. It's one play now. From the 50, Stafford. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. To throw again on second down. Stafford, he gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Not going to play to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game. Step away, watch him throw, and understanding defensively what the play is Throwing again at Stafford. Inside the 10. And they move this all the way down to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult throws for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Throwing is Stafford. A 
open man right side is Cup complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The six yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. On the give, this is Akers. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple taken from the five down to the floor. Four and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Back to throw, Stafford. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Well, they certainly didn't get what they wanted on that play. That means it's a big-time decision on what you call on fourth down. Absolutely, because a field goal here doesn't do them much good. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the ball's going to be going back to the Chiefs. Fourth down and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise. But how about the coverage they're able to bat it down? KC's offense ready to take over. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going, and above all, ball security. Don't turn it over. Well, the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves it with two to go on second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Mahomes now to throw. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here comes Edwards Alaire on the toss right. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 15. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. They got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try to move forward. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Looking to throw is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they stop him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Stafford now to throw. He's got a man complete. That's interference. Defense. That's not good enough, man. So they will wave off the flag and let the completion stand. Really great job by the receiver fighting through all the contact and still coming down with the football. All that great work and practice being put into the game. Now Stafford. will check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Stafford now to throw. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 
The tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. And that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. They'll run for it with Akers. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Cam Akers, his third touchdown of the game, his eighth on the year. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Seven catches for him now in his last one, the first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mahomes will throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Mahomes to throw it. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 28. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Well, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. They just have to think in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. And we 
We've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. It's a little teaching moment.